everyone welcome back to sunny life channel thank you so much guys for tuning in guys i saw something on instagram that catched my attention it is believed by many people that if someone call herself a born again christian she or he have no relationship with their ancestors by saying that i mean people believe that born again christians does not believe or perform any ancestral related ceremonies about partly about she's in people the past few days, a gospel artist and former Idols SA contestant Snezim Somi posted a picture of herself wearing Isi Panda, a Zulu Bengal. I don't know the correct term, guys, but to give you an idea, when Zulus perform some ancestor ceremonies, they slaughter a goat or a cow, then cut a piece of that animal skin and put it as a bangle. So Snezi did this, the same thing, and uh, by the look of things, guys, I I think she received a lot of DMs questioning her salvation and Christianity and she decided to respond. Yesterday she took it to her Instagram page to put all assumptions to rest and her post reads as follows. I mean, Nigetlara Mas and Buzana no do what in his sense of it happy in Pendul. In Ghana in Eldosin, the city we are called a man to Fagis Panda, I was a Busay and Gag. Then she continued by saying, I do not owe anyone any explanation, but he gay. Where my call. I'm so nissan go my foot and twice in mina. Snintlanda, I'm so me in this in this seaway, in Giam Tandu Jesu Cordua, in Ginga, Nick, I'm so me, in Gane, Mushana, Guam so me, Guam so millions we seek. Forty and so the Ngau question alog. Gisazo Muliswa, Gifawis Panda, Ginga Colos, and Gitobin. Nisazo Kagega and Gobanginga, and remember it by Pelule to Litting in Lonip. Yes, it does not only apply Masiton Papa Fundis, Nasema Kayake, Sia Sibenzi, Saguba. I thank you. So, yeah, guys, that's how she responded. To those who doesn't understand Isi Zulu, Snezi was actually saying she is a born again Christian who was raised with family beliefs. Whatever they tell her to do, she will do it as a sign of respect, which does not only apply to our pastors, but it also applies to our families. They're still going to do, or they're still going to do umemulo for her, and she won't say no to her elders. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, guys, her post to comment section was blocked, so people couldn't comment further. But guys, I personally think that we are all different. We worship God differently, and our beliefs also differ. Maybe we need to accept that. In closing, guys, I want to ask you this question. Is it wrong for someone who calls herself a born-again Christian to perform ancestral ceremonies? Does that make her Christianity questionable? Let's hear your opinion on the comment section, guys. In that note, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. See you on my next upload. Bye.